Hey everybody, so I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to be looking at the Samsung Galaxy Fit. Um, I've actually had this since the we got the S20, we actually pre-ordered the phone. So uh, they did give us like a pre-order credit where we could buy stuff. So we ended up getting the Galaxy Fit and the um, S View case for uh, the S20 phone. Now that I re reviewed in a video I think yesterday. Uh, before I get started, I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and getting me up to 51 subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try even harder to make more videos. I was trying to see what it would be like to make daily videos and realized how hard it is. So, um, you know, I still try my best. So if it slows down, I'm sorry. And um, here we go. Alright, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Fit. Um, this is the watch itself and uh, this is the box it comes in it's just standard like a guess Samsung case and uh, when you open it the watch actually sits in here with the charger and the charger looks looks like this so the charger is magnetic so when you do put the watch on here um, it will start charging and you know it won't fall off if you decide to dangle it or something like that let me put this away uh just a warning if you are buying the s20 and you are uh, buying this watch this watch still uses a uh, usb 2.0 or 3.0 um i'm not 100 percent sure but um the new s20s the little charger is um usb type c so you won't be able to actually connect this to the charger for this phone because it no longer accepts it so if you have like an old charger somewhere or you know I don't know like a device that uses like a USB charger like uh, for example uh, my old Samsung charger right here my fast charger uh, you can just use that to charge the phone and it'll work perfectly fine um, I think it takes about it doesn't take long it takes about 30 minutes and it's usually fully charged by then um, as long as you're not using it or to have it turned off all right so um, Let's get to it so as you can see um, it has a button here this is what you use to turn on the phone and also get it off from sleep mode I don't think you can really tap it to you know to get it to respond so you click on it and you see you're in the main menu so in the menu it just tells you your uh, beats per minute your heart rate and the time um, yep and the time and I believe your steps and then you can go to the side oh wait here you go so when you go to the side, it'll show you how many steps you walked, your heart rate, and how many uh, calories you burnt uh, on the secondary screen. And this is touch screen, so you can just um, slide it to the side as you use it. And then um, it does have like little programs you can use to, um, I guess, tell it what you're doing. So uh, when you click start, it'll start counting down and you know monitor you, your heart rate and everything um, if you're running. And um, you know, you just press the button, and you just say finish, and then they'll just tell you how far how far you walked, uh, how many kilometers. I guess you should, uh, you can change it to miles if you feel like it, but yeah. And uh, how many calories you burned? All right. And then you know, same thing for all these other ones. This one measures stress. Uh, so this one measures how long you slept. If you do sleep with the uh, the watch um, I don't believe it uses um, the watch by itself to monitor your sleeping I think it uses uh, your phone's activity so if you stop using your phone and um, it just uh, monitors the length of inactivity on your phone and then decides how long you slept if I'm wrong please feel free to correct me but um, that's how my Samsung phone works so my note 8 if I have the phone let me see that all right let me see if I can get to that app apparently I can't spell fit Music Samsung health Samsung health all right so this is the Samsung health app uh, basically the same thing as the watch over there uh, monitors everything your uh, calories um, how many steps you've taken as long as it's in your pocket if you do take it out of your pocket it won't be able to measure that but um, like I was saying this is the sleep part 
and um, I actually haven't used this phone in a long time. Let me see if I can go back to trends. Let's see if I can find one from a while ago. Okay, let's do yeah, January. So, um, you know, it'll tell you how long you slept. So I guess that that month, my average sleeping time was two hours and 50 minutes, which is awful. Um, I should probably try and sleep more, but I guess that's how things are when you're just work, working every day. And um, yeah, it'll monitor that, that, that for you. And it'll only do it um, due to your inactivity on the phone. And um, it will tell you that, I believe. Anyways, back to, to the watch. So, um, I guess my heart rate went up when I put it back on the table. But let's go to the side. Alright, so it measures stress, you're sleeping, and, um, you know, it'll also tell you the weather. As long as you have it hooked up to your phone, um, it will tell you, you know, what your weather is going to be. It's going to synchronize it and make sure it stays up to date. And also if you get phone calls, it will display here. So it does not have a microphone, so you actually can't pick up phone calls from here, uh, but you can ignore phone calls. So it's convenient for, um, you know, if you're running or something and somebody calls you that you don't want to call you, you can just um, ignore their phone call, um, push it to the side and, you know, ignore it. And you can also see the forecast for the day. So it is all touch screen and, um, this is kind of, I don't know if it's very useful, but basically it shows you like a, uh, if you have it connected to your email, it will show you what the part of the subject is for the email you received and you can throw it in the trash. I don't believe you can open the emails. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Okay, so you can open the email, but I don't recommend it because reading on here is, is terrible. Send. Give me one sec. And I guess it gives you options to reply. Um, I don't think anybody will be on here to, you know. How do I get out of this? Oh, okay. So I guess um, this is like a home button. You press it to go back um, if you're ever stuck somewhere. But yeah, so if you're ever stuck in an app somewhere on here, just press this <laughs> and it'll get you out of there. But, um, I guess you can read emails and um, it'll give you a bunch of responses and then you can click on it and it'll send it out. Um, if you get a lot of emails, I guess it's convenient, but I don't think anybody will ever sit there and use this to check their email. And um, I know people are probably wondering um, how you would know what the battery life is. So um, it doesn't really display the battery life anywhere on here unless I'm wrong. So I'll show you guys how to find it. So if you want to know the battery life for this, um, you can either plug it into the charger and it'll kind of like show you with that image, show you what the battery life is. Or what you can do is you can just go on your phone and you can find the Galaxy, that app right there, Galaxy wearable app. And then you click on it. So you just press get started. And then it'll, you know, ask you what wearable device you have. So we have the Galaxy Fit uh, and it has a picture of it. So then it starts looking around and tells you, hey, there's a Galaxy Fit close by. So when you click on it, it'll show up on here and you just press accept or the little check mark and then um, it'll go ahead and reset the watch um, it does take it a little bit to do it but um, I guess we got some time so we'll wait for it anyways while we're waiting waiting for this to to reset I'm just gonna put that down Um, as you can tell, this video is not edited, so you're waiting the same amount of length that I'm waiting. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but you can also go down to the uh, 
what's it called, the fast forward button and just push it along until you see me picking it up again. So um, I guess you're not wasting your time watching this video. But that's mostly it about the Samsung Galaxy Fit. That's, um, I guess, everything you need to know as, as far as I'm concerned or something. All right, so it's booting up. Get started in the Galaxy. All right, so. Hmm. All right, so. On a, do I go on the phone? And... Okay, so. You go back and you, I guess you press the same icon again and then um, it'll start synchronizing, so... Oh, and then it installs the plugin for the phone. Check your phone. App to install, Galaxy Fit. Plugin, 34 megabytes. Mm. My internet is actually... Oh, I guess it's not that slow today. So right now it's finishing pairing. I guess it connects to all your apps and uh, you know just tries to synchronize everything you have so um, you have a seamless experience like your emails uh, your Samsung health app um, you know just to make sure um, everything is good to go and um, it's pretty easy it's nothing really hard you just follow what it says you press agree you allow access allow uh, uh, back up. I'm gonna skip that for now. Alright, so I'm all set. All good to go. And um, <laughs> that's how you find out the battery life. So right now it's at 12% it's low, but this will last you I think about two days if you use it well. Or if you just don't get a bunch of phone calls all day long, it will last you a long time. But um, if you do use this heavily and um, you know, get a lot of phone calls, answer emails. Um, it will not last you that long. So if you have any questions, just put in the comment section below. Sorry this was such a long video. Um, I was just trying to, I guess, have you guys follow through with me. But um, if you wanna learn how to do something on the watch or I forgot to put something on there, just let me know and I'll make another video correcting it. Thank you.